We'll, I'll thank you for your intervention, and I ask you to, to speak now. Thank you. Scusate, però... Eh... Ok, just a, a piece of information. During this tour of the table, you have 10 minutes to speech, and I will be very strict. So please speak only for 10 minutes. Thank you. And if it's not me, it's the person who is ringing the bell, so be careful. This is done to allow also the public to ask some questions and to have some time to, to debate. Thank you. In the name of God, religion and peace are not two separate identities. And it is impossible to imagine religion without each other. It is interesting to see that despite the attempts of minorities in different religions to present the brutal and violent face of religion, they never demolish the religion from the hearts of people and the authentic followers. This means for them that they have to understand the essence of religion to maintain the religion alive by kindness and passion and respect to human beings. They always have been against the war and hostility which religious radicalism spread through the world. In my opinion, nowadays this is the result of alliance between tyranny and ignorance. So I believe that we should strengthen the religion and the friendship among people and we have to avoid any division to prevent the dominance of radicalism and allow and don't allow that these enemies can commit the most brutal crimes in the name of religion. The religion is in fact the analytical philosophy about the role of human in the world that has been established to understand the situation of human beings and their roles. All believers, they are seeking to determine their status in the world by help of the religion and based on the meaning of their life in a rational framework. Without any doubt, the religion is the most important element which gives meaning to life and helps human beings to raise awareness and to achieve happiness. This is opposite, the opposite of violence and killing and looting. So religion shouldn't have any relation to violence and crimes. Religion are seeking justice and equality, and they are behind all suppressed nations and people. Support them. <laughs> Religious people cannot be remain silent before these violences and aggressions. Therefore, jihad is compulsory according to Muslims. My religion is Islam, 
And I declare again that Islam is the religion of peace and friendship because our holy scripture says that killing an individual means killing humanity and giving birth to a human being means giving birth to all humanity. I'm therefore sure that do not murder, do not kill is the foundation of many religions. All religions have a, a rationality and they play a role in order to build peace. religions are a precious element for humanity and it's the it's very important for people to debate to talk about religion i would now like to summarize by speech my speech in three different points first Religion is a precious element for the human history and it always has maintained its great values. The relation that the religion makes with the soul of humans is the reason why it is so important. Those who believe, they do believe in the afterlife world and they have to make a self-sacrifice therefore they become worthy dominant and they fight against fake politicians that have been trying to use religion in order to be more powerful all wars in the history which were done on behalf of religion were used by politician as an excuse to be more powerful. Religion invites uh, to peace and to follow common principles such as God. And God is the first person who obliged people not to kill each other. However, politicians have always tried to express and to preach that they are, they are the only one with the right to decide whether to kill someone or not. So they try to convince people and the population to follow their beliefs, which are fake religions. In this way, religions have been changed and have been transformed from peace, a, peace, a tool for peace into the cause of wars and hostilities. This demonstrates that real religions are the foundation of human relationships. Second point, I believe that religious leaders shouldn't teach about peace and shouldn't use the religion in order to have more support. I believe that they should educate the believers to the concept of religion. Religion means loving each other, loving the human beings who are son of God. Religion means obeying and worshipping God because God is the kindest. God is the common denominator among all religions because God is the kindest.
the four religions should not teach the peace, but should teach people how religions are important and how religions have been used by politicians in the wrong way. Because unfortunately, we see politicians and um, powerful people using religions in order to uh, acknowledge and to justify violence. I am a Muslim, and I'm here today despite the unlikely situation in my country. Today, terrorists, in the name of Islam, have committed the worst and pernicious crimes, and the Middle East, since many years, is suffering from killings and oppression in the name of religion. Israel has scorned and disdained Palestinians, while the superpowers have, have not cared about these oppressions and these violences. So this silence made that terrorists like Al-Qaeda and ISIS recruited in the name of Islam and made crimes for which every religious person should be ashamed. So these crimes are committed in the name of religion, and the common sense would be that uh, they would have to understand that religion cannot do this that Al-Qaeda cannot just justify this in the name of religion. I understand that real Muslims, they feel ashamed. They do not support this kind of behavior. And I state here today, as a Muslim, that our entire body, our person, are ashamed of this kind of behavior. So politicians and leaders should not use religion as an excuse for their actions. And this is the same for the United States um, when they had to battle against the Soviet Union and the current state in Syria. They have stimulated the radicalism and supported them in order to achieve their goals, but they couldn't control them anymore. And history teaches us that when you create, when you establish such a dangerous religious group, it is then very difficult to remove them and to control them. So those who were responsible for the 9-11 uh, Trade Center disaster, they were the same who were exhorted to the jihad by communists through financing and uh, U.S. dollars. So th those who committed these crimes against Muslims and Yazidis are those who supported financially the battle in Syria. However, Muslims and the rel their religion do not have anything to do with that. <laughs> 